non ela desai an pista kaletai kai ton afleon kai polo russo. The first play I was ever in was in the seventh grade. We put on a Midsummer Night's Dream at my very small elementary school, and <laughs> I remember taking this, what was, you know, a very small project so seriously. I got so nervous for auditions and so serious about the rehearsal process. I remember not understanding why it made me so excited, but that it did, and I therefore had to take it wildly seriously. There's other major cities in America, but I think that right now, Los Angeles, um, as far as cities in the nation, is the number one place if you really want to start a career in the very challenging, very competitive, competitive theater arts world. In addition to all of the film stuff, there's so much theater going on here. Um, even more that I didn't realize was going on until I moved here like six weeks ago. Los Angeles in general has so much to offer as far as wanting to have a career in the theater. So the theater program here is so interesting because of its interdisciplinary nature. Um, I love the fact that I'm taking all of my classes this year, not only with the actors, but also with the directors and the playwrights. So, you know, we're making those connections now, getting to know each other and taking class together and learning together and theoretically starting long time collaborations. You know, we're taking um, Directing 101 right now, where we're all selecting our own scenes from wonderful American realism plays and directing them ourselves. Um, we're taking playwriting class, which is um, really a class that focuses on devised pieces. So we broke off into three groups, and each group is in charge of creating um, an entirely original 30-minute devised piece about anything. So that's, <laughs> that's actually a pretty daunting endeavor, but we're about midway through the quarter right now and we're actually starting to see some really interesting work. I want to learn how to execute the ideas that I have in my head and execute them in a theater so that other people can see them. Does that make sense? I feel like I have so many ideas always floating around my mind, but so little understanding of how to make them happen out in the theater world. So UCLA is certainly teaching me how I can make that happen. In acting class, we focus on two methods, um, one being the Suzuki method and the other being the viewpoints method. And I'm really intrigued by this viewpoints method. I've never gotten to do it before. Some of my classmates had experimented with it before, but this is my first time doing the viewpoints method. They're different, but they focus very much on having complete control over your body, um, which is a sensation that you don't think about too often. You know, when you're on stage, you have to be still, and it's a very unusual situation. You know, when you're on stage, there's people watching you for minutes, hours at a time, and you constantly have to be aware of that. So these methods are teaching us how to control and manipulate our bodies for long periods of time. So right now we're learning portions of Greek text from the Persians by Aeschylus. Why is theater important? Isn't that what people are asking constantly? Do we even know the answer to that question? My directing teacher said something in class the other day that really resonated with me. I can't, I'll, I'll have to paraphrase, but he said, why do we do theater? To continue to understand the basics of human truth. And that made so much sense to me. We need theater so that we can process the absurd things that occur around us in the world. And to understand emotion and human conflict. Maybe I'm a highly emotional person and I just need theater to help me process all the weird things that occur in my brain. But I think that theater really is necessary to understand the things that go on in the world around us or understand them in a way that we wouldn't have naturally seen ourselves.